Here is some dialogue from my Heather's 2 script featuring Mike Meyer, that's me, and Winona Ryder. Heather's 2 continued. Dalton Donner, Miss Sawyer, the young Veronica Sawyer, and J.D. are gathered in the cafeteria at Westerberg High School. In the context of the story of Heather's that takes place on Earth, this is the scene where Veronica Sawyer meets J.D. for the first time. She seems very smitten by him. In the alternate take of Heather's that takes place on planet John and Q, Dalton Donner and the older Veronica Sawyer as Miss Sawyer, the principal of Westerberg High School, enter the cafeteria to talk to J.D. and Veronica Sawyer. Dalton Donner looks at J.D. and Veronica Sawyer and begins speaking to them. Hi, Veronica. Hi, J.D. It's nice to see you. Who are you people? I'm you in the future. I'm the principal of Westbrook High School. This is Dalton Donner, a science teacher at Westbrook High School. We are dating. This is the person I'm going to be dating in the future? Yes, Miss Sawyer. It is I who you'll be dating in the future, both the archetypal me, who is Dalton Donner, a science teacher at Westerberg High School, and Mike Meyer, the real-life person who portrays me. The real-life person who is you known as Winona Ryder, is going to be dating Mike Meyer. That's wonderful. I agree with that. The events that take place on planet Earth at Westbrook High School are mirrored by the events that take place at Westbrook High School on planet John Dickey with some alternative details. Correspondingly, the events that take place in the real lives of the actors who portray the characters in Heathers will mirror somewhat the events that take place at Westbrook High School on Planet Jonahue. For this reason, Mike Meyer will be dating Winona Ryder in the future. It is predestined for the fact that Westbrook High School on Planet Jonahue mirrors the events of Westbrook High School on Planet Earth. That's amazing. Meanwhile, at Westbrook High School on planet Earth, Dalton Donner is giving a lecture to his science students about the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. He works with this branch of NASA, SETI, S-E-T-I. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence has a lot to say about it. Good morning, students. Welcome to class. Today, I will be discussing life on other planets, for starters. Do any of you believe in life on other planets? A guy named Harlan raises his hand to respond. Yes, Harlan, do you believe? I must admit, I am quite skeptical. I want so much to believe. I think that the, it would be so fulfilling for the human race to interact with an alien species. What if I were to tell you that I know that life does exist on other planets? I would say that I need some fortified evidence of that assertion to convince me. I have such evidence. Yeah, what is it? For starters, let me explain something. There is a planet known as Planet John Dequeue that mirrors the events that take place at Westbrook High School here on planet Earth. There is a Westbrook High School on planet John Dequeue with the same people. The events that take place at Westbrook High School on planet John Q are an alternative take of the events that take place at Westbrook High School on planet Earth. How do you know these? I know this because I met an alien named Kandal from planet John Q. Kandal took Miss Sawyer and I to planet John Q where we saw some amazing things. Can we meet Kandal? Yes, you can. As a matter of fact, he's here today. Kanda walks into the classroom to greet Dalton Donner's science class. Good morning, class. I am Kanda from Planet John and Q. It's nice to meet you, Kando. It's nice to meet you, Harlan. So, what brings you to Planet Earth, Kando? 
My wife is a Dorax blood planet, John Q with an alien with whom she is having an affair. My heart is broken. My love with her for her was more important than almost anything in my life. I have come to planet Earth to get Isadorax back. Can you forgive Isadorax for having an affair? Candle? Maybe, but only if Isadorax shoves her naked ass in my face. Suddenly, Miss Sawyer appears in the class uh, at the door. Excuse me, class, I need to speak to Mr. Donner. What is it, Veronica? Come see me in the hallway. They go to the hallway. What's on your mind, Veronica? Would you like to go to the movies tonight? Sure, Veronica, what would you like to see? There's a movie being shown there featuring Mike Meyer and Winona Ryder called Love Destiny. I would love to go. It's nice to look in your welcoming, in your eyes of welcoming serenity. Oh, how I have yearned to kiss your soft lips of luxury and touch your hair, Veronica. I'll see you tonight. Dalton Donner and Miss Sawyer go to the movies that night to see the movie Love Destiny, featuring Mike Meyer and Winona Ryder at the Dream Love Theater. Mike walks up to the concession booth to buy a bucket of popcorn for himself and Winona when he sees a student of his, Bertha. Hi, Mr. Donner. How surprising to see you here. I'm here with Miss Sawyer tonight. I can see that. Suddenly, Bertha grabs some candy and a bucket of popcorn and runs out of the theater screaming. Mr. Donner looks at the theater employee in disbelief. What was that? Do you know him? Yeah? Do, do you know her? Yeah, she's in my science class. That bitch is in your science class? She stole popcorn and candy from me. Yeah, it looks like... It looks as though she took off with some popcorn and candy she didn't pay for. Is she a good student? Yeah, that's why I'm so surprised. Mr. Donner walks back to see Miss Sawyer. You won't believe it, Miss Sawyer. Bertha Chevalier stole popcorn and candy from her. Really? She sells popcorn and candy from her? Yeah! She stole popcorn and candy! She took off with the popcorn and candy. It's just popcorn and candy. Let her have the popcorn and candy. Okay. Dalton Donner and Miss Sawyer are watching Love Destiny at the Dream Love Theater. Mr. Donner looks into Miss Sawyer's eyes and speaks to her. You look lovely tonight, Miss Sawyer. Thanks, Dalton. I think I need a snack.
You want more snacks? Sure, that would be delicious. What is it that you want? I would like anything with gooey caramel in it. That's going to be delectable. I'm going to go and get that for you. Mr. Donner walks up to the concession booth and he sees a theater in play there named Penelope. Good evening, I'm here with my date, Veronica Sawyer. She has requested a snack from this here concession booth. A snack? That's what we have. Snacks. That's the only thing we have. My point exactly. That is why I came. I came because I knew I could get a snack. What kind of a snack would you like? My girlfriend, Veronica Sawyer, has requested anything with gooey caramel in it. Gooey caramel? We don't have anything with gooey caramel. Are you being serious? You don't have anything with gooey caramel. This is a movie theater concession booth. There has to be something here with gooey caramel in it. Sure, a, per a person might surmise that a movie theater concession booth would, under no circumstances, be lacking in that devilishly delightful ingredient, gooey caramel. These, however, are extenuating circumstances. Extenuating? In what way? Bertha, your student, has stolen the snacks containing gooey caramel. Also, her and her minions have stopped production of any snacks containing gooey caramel. She's quite an evil person. I don't know how I'm going to go on living. Life without gooey caramel? Just ponder that for a moment. What about love? You have that. Yeah, I love love. But I want my fucking gooey caramel! Then we must stop Bertha! I'll talk to you about this later, Penelope. I need to go see the woman I love, Miss Sawyer. I'll see you later, Dalton. Dalton Donner goes back to his seat next to Miss Sawyer. Where's our snacks? They didn't have anything with gooey caramel. I love you, Veronica. I love... I love you, too. Where are our snacks? Bertha, my student, stole the snacks containing gooey caramel and stopped production of any food items containing gooey, gooey caramel. We must stop her! I agree. The movie starts. The stars of the movie, Love, Destiny, are Mike Wire, Winona Ryder. Dalton Donner looks up at Miss Sawyer and speaks to her. I know something very interesting about this movie, Veronica. Yeah, what's that? Dalton. The characters in this movie, Mike Meyer and Winona Ryder, are the real-life people who portray us. The archetypal characters in the realm of archetypes where fiction exists. Really? That's fascinating, Dalton. Also, since the Westbrook High School that exists, on planet John de Hustair shows a mirror image of the events that take place on planet Earth. Mike Meyer shall have a love affair with an honor writer. 
It is destiny. That's beautiful, Dalton. I agree. <sighs> you know what else is beautiful? What, Dalton? You, Veronica. When I look into your eyes, my soul is transported to a plateau upon which I can gaze upon a field of immortal beauty with flowers of eternal wisdom that beckon us to consummate our predestined love. I love you, Dalton. I love you, Veronica. Dalton Donner and Veronica Sawyer are enjoying thoroughly the movie Love Destiny, featuring Mike Meyer and Winona Ryder, when Dalton looks into Veronica's beautiful eyes and begins speaking to her. The love between you, Winona, and Mike appears to be destiny. Do you always talk to characters in movies on the screen, Dalton? I feel a deep sense of preordained love between Winona Meyer and Mike Meyer. In this movie. It is my belief that in the archetypal realm where fictional movies exist, fiction takes on a reality of its own that transcends the reality that we experience. It is a reality in which awareness is heightened and sexual pleasure is enhanced to a level of both physical excitation and spiritual discovery in which both people involved not only have a physical orgasm, but also a spiritual orgasm that en enables them to see into a reality both vast and eternal. As the consummation of their love is also the doorway to immortality. I agree with you, Dalton. Their love seems destined. I feel a deep sense of connection to some of their characters, as if I can communicate with them psychically. That's awesome, Dalton. Hey, look, Veronica, it's Bertha Chevalier, sitting by herself with a bucket of popcorn. Yeah, the bitches stole popcorn and candy and stopped production of any snakes containing gooey caramel. We should talk to her. I'll talk to her soon. She's a good student. She's a very good student. She has a deviant side to her and some strange personality quirks. But outside of that, she brings a unique intelligence to class discussions. She's actually kind of fun. But it fucking sucks that she stopped production of snacks containing gooey caramel. That does suck. Dalton? Yes, Veronica. What is it? You better not be cheating on me. Cheating on you? I could never cheat on you. Dalton? Yes, what, Veronica? I could see l lust in your eyes. Lust? My eyes? Maybe it's called a, l a lust for knowledge. I'm supposed to have that. 
Thanks for not trusting me. I love you, Veronica. What kind of knowledge are you lusting for? The knowledge of what that woman's bare breasts look like? No, oh, Veronica. It's a lust for scientific knowledge. You are such a dork, Dalton. There you go. Don't cheat. Um, You bring my soul to plateaus of enchantment. How long you know? Okay, so the proceeding was um, just a sample of some of the uh, dialogue that I've written for my Heather's Two script. Um, been trying to get it produced, and I'm seeing signs that are kind of more implications that uh, maybe that there is a possibility that it will be produced. Because, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting kind of like a vibe happening in Hollywood. I'm seeing it in different places, and I kind of feel like people are really starting to see what a, what a profitable type of... Uh, enterprise this would be so let's get this thing started 